Hey guys, my name is Renee. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm gonna do a really quick intro, let you know a little bit about my channel. You might wanna stick around after this. But after the intro, we're gonna talk because they messing with our money. Hi loves, I'm Renee and welcome to my channel. In this channel, you will find family vlogs, makeup, beauty, hauls, all the things that make me who I am. We have four boys and one girl so we definitely have a lot of excitement and i'm an army mom look at that so i want to share my world with you share our family share our day-to-day -day, let you know that you could be a mom you could be a wife you can be all the things that you want to be regardless of where you are in your journey your journey counts and we're going to get there together so if this is your first time hey i'm renee Please like and subscribe, join the family. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for sharing our world with us. And guess what? We're gonna go ahead, get into this video. Let's go. So guys, if you have not heard, there is a federal tax break. And that tax break is going to not take out Social Security FICA tax for the remainder of the year. So 6.2% of our income is held. Dylan, no, what? 6.2% of our income is held for Social Security when we get older, right? Now, from September to December, they're not going to take that tax out. Okay. Okay, well, the caveat to that is next year, right? Starting from January to April, they're pretty much going to take out what they lent us and start the normal uh, process of taking out the normal, what they've been taking out since you had your first job. So we are going to be taxed at 12.4%. It's going to be double. It's going to be what we owe plus what the normal would be. So... Our checks at the beginning of the year is going to be little, little, little. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this, like like everyone pretty much who is affected has been talking about this because it's crazy. First of all, I understand that there are people out there who need assistance. Um, and I know that a lot of people are not stimulating the economy. And I think we are stimulating the economy, but honestly, we're putting it in like small businesses, um, but not necessarily the big, larger corporations who are used to us, like making it rain. So the economy is being stimulated, but in a different way. So I feel like this is like a, a way for them to kind of push and give you a little extra and make you do the most. And it's kind of convenient that it's right around the holiday season when they're giving people this additional money, not realizing, realizing, but once that hits your check, you're not going to realize it, right? that next year your check gonna be little. I really wish me being a federal employee, being an active duty service member, I really wish that uh, there was an opt out option. I wish there was a choice. It came on DFAS one day and said, hey, if you would like to have this, click here. If you would not like to have this, you don't have to do anything. And I think a lot of people would have been okay with that because it gives that option for those who need the extra, you know, cushion to be able to have it. And those who are like, no, I'm good. We're we making it. We fine uh, to not. So let's talk because a lot of people have been saying what to do, ways around it. And I just feel like, oh, okay. Okay, let's let's just really be real about this, okay? So the first thing that I saw when a lot of people were like, well, here's a way to go around it, right? Is to pretty much go into your uh, account where you can put your taxes and how much they withhold and everything and take out the amount of your um, FICA Social Security, right? So offset it. So they're gonna give you a little bit, but, but have them take it back out in taxes. The problem with this is they're taxing what they're not withholding anymore. 
So <laughs> the taxes that they're taking out is not going towards this loan that they're giving us. It is just being taxed because now it's in our income. And how I know this, even though for military, we can't see on the 15th paycheck, we can't see like the full scope of what's happening. But I looked at my last month's pay and my FICA school, my FICA uh, social security was like 190. And then my check went up exactly a hundred dollars. So where's the other $90? Taxes, taxes. And I'm pretty sure when they recoup next month or next year, it's going to be the full 190 because that's how much they left in my paycheck. It's not my fault or their fault that uh, it was taxed, even though it's the same person doing the same thing. But we're not, we, we're not even going to that. So do not up your withholdings because honestly, you're just going to get that. Yeah, I guess you're going to get that money back during tax time, but... Do you really want to rely on that? Hmm, I don't know. Right. So another thing that I've seen a lot of people say is to just save it. Save it. Put it in a savings account. Earn some interest on it. Don't touch it. Save it. How many times have you tried to just put money in a savings account and not touch it? How many times have you been dedicated to savings and something happens and you had to just, just dip in it? A lot, a lot. Now, if you want to do a savings like, like this method, I suggest doing like a Credit One 360 account. It's an online account. I have one that's very safe and secure, but it's it takes like three days for you to get your money back. So you really have to plan and think about, you can't use that money for emergencies or things that happen right then and there. You have to leave that money in there because it takes like three days for you to get it back. So by the time you get the money back, that emergency will be handled. So um, if you want to do that method where you just save it, <laughs> um, then you want to make sure you use an account like that where you can't just easily divvy into it. Now, if you know that you're not a great saver, your girl is not a great saver. I'm just not, you know, and that's why I have a Credit One 360 account. But I do know that when you're trying to do better, right, and you're still on that journey of getting to where you want to be, things are always happening. You always have to divvy into your savings. So if you know that that's you and that's kind of where you are in life, that's not necessarily going to be the best route for you. So here's what I'm going to do. What I plan on doing, you guys know I'm already on this debt-free journey, um, trying to just, you know, pay things off and get them out of my face and build up that credit score and all the above. So what I plan on doing, because I know that Renee is not going to put this 100, 200, whatever it is, amount in a savings account and not touch it. The holidays are coming up. The kids want things. They need clothes. They need shoes. It's just too easy to be like, you know, what? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and spend this money now and deal with it in January when it happens, you know, when they when they take out double. No, so what I plan on doing is actually paying off, paying down my credit cards, doing additional payments on things, trying to get a month ahead, um, trying to make sure that the things that I am paying now, I most likely won't have to pay January through April. So paying that extra month rent. So now you're a month ahead or an extra car payment because car payments don't go straight to your principal. It actually just pushes you a month ahead or furniture bill or whatever those bills are that you have that you know are monthly bills that if you make an additional payment, it's just going to push you a month ahead. So using that money to pay those things now because if you pay those things now and you push the due dates you continue to do it like normal continue to push push that time uh forward so every month just paying a little bit extra on your rent or paying a little bit extra on your car payment paying a little bit extra on uh your car insurance just whatever your bills are then from january to april they will either be paid off through that time or pushed to where you don't have to worry about it you know if that makes sense does that make sense so it's every month september i pay two car payments right 
or too light bill. No, you can't really do light bill. But like, you know what I'm saying. Those uh, bills that are the same every month. Two furniture bills. Uh, your car insurance. You know, if I pay two and every month it goes, okay, so now I'm not due until November. November, I do the same thing. I'm not due till December. I continue to do that and I'm continuing to push that due date. So when January comes and my check is short, but my bills are short as well because I pushed my due date. So I've continued to do that and be consistent. I hope this makes sense, y'all. So take the extra money that you have and plan ahead and go ahead and give those people that money. Push those due dates forward or pay towards that credit card or that other bill, those installment loans or those revolving, that's what they are, those revolving loans to where, okay, so now my credit card is completely paid off. I'm good. So if I have an emergency, if something happens, then I can fall back and use it. It's nothing wrong with using your credit card. You have it to use, but you just don't want to be excessive with it. So I hope this makes sense, right? But that's what I plan on doing. You don't want to put it all towards taxes because they're taxing it anyway. So that taxes that they're taking out does not negate the loan. So you're just double messing yourself up. Okay, and if you're not a good saver, and, and please be honest with yourself because the holidays are coming, okay? Uh, if you're not a good saver, don't just put it in a savings account. If you do, put it in a uh, like a credit one, 360 account, something that's kind of not easily accessible. It's going to take three to five days for you to get your money back. So you really have to think about how you want to spend that money if you really want to take it out or if you could figure out something else. And my what I plan on doing is actually taking that money and pushing those due dates forward, paying extra on car insurance, furniture bills, car payments, rent, the things that I can push the due dates forward. I'm going to do that and be consistent throughout these four months. So it covers for the four months where my check is going to be short. So thank you guys so much. This is kind of a bonus video because it's just, it's just been on my heart. I've really been upset about this thing and yeah, it's not that much, but I don't like when people mess with my money, my man and my kids. Okay. So I or Renee, please like and subscribe. Definitely check out some other videos. Okay. They're going to be all here and here, but check out some other videos like this video, share it with your friends because this is a huge conversation that we're all talking about. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you on Sundays, right? Sundays and Wednesdays. That's the new plan. But today you get a little Friday because, girl, we need to talk. <laughs>